like when you th see people like always talking about your father? It's always a good thing. It's a blessing. Um, piss me off sometimes. I think like some that. of the some of the stuff that you don't agree with. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. And I, I, like I said, I, I just, like I said, I've been wanting to do this interview. Do you think about, uh, like, a lot of times, you know, you even see growing up hip hop, all these shows that came out. You, I know you've taken notice of a lot of. I was watching that when I was <laughs> when I was down around the tablet. Okay. I was watching the one in Atlanta. It had like uh, like Angela Simmons, uh, what's Master, Master P son? Yeah, yeah, uh, and his daughter. Bow Wow. Yeah, yeah. And them. Uh, yeah, I was watching that shit down there, and I was just like, like a lot of like. I you can relate to they, it. Yeah, it's real relatable. And I was like, damn, they need to have some shit like this down south. Down like, south, you know, for Charles sure. Charles Houston or something like yeah. that. It's a lot of legends. You know that's right. Like, not everybody not sitting in the house. You know, like, I'm one of the ones that's outside. I know for sure Lil Hawk one of the ones that's outside. Fat yeah. Pat's son, Lil Pat. He be out, you know, uh, Bushwick Bill's son. They, they, know, they down there. He, he like, outside. He, he be outside. Like, so it's not like. The people are there. The substance is there. Facts. So they, and, it, it, and it be real, like, real shit. Like, nigga don't be on no. No, no, no. It's just a real situation, too. To come up under that shadow, it's tough, man. You know, to have to try to understand what the people would expect out of you and, and just seeing mm -hmm. how they treat and react to you. All that's something. You know what I mean? Right. So when you think about just the whole way that they portray your dad and always you hear his name, everybody talks about him. He a legend in, in, in the South, for sure. But really, we're a wide for me. I don't play about it wherever I'm at. That's my main thing I deal with. You know, like... How is it for you, like, like when you see people, like, always talking about your father? It's always a good thing. It's a blessing. Um, piss me off sometimes. I think like some, of the, some of the stuff that you don't agree with. Yeah. Or, or not even sometimes that I don't agree with it, but it just don't be certain people a place to... To talk about. Right. Like, I don't have the seniority to talk crazy to an OG, you know, that really didn't put in time and work in. That's and, real. You know what I'm saying? That's so, real. Like, I can't, I can't pull this coattail. That's not my place. It, yeah. it take for someone of his caliber to, That's to, right. to do that. You see what I'm saying? I understand that. But a lot of people don't understand that. So, yeah. Yeah, it'd be them type of situations. But, you know, it's, you got to think about it too. It's the internet though. So, yeah. you got to, you got to let the troll is troll. That's probably why I go so hard for him is because of, it's stuff out there that's going to try to, try to sway things a different way, to be honest with you. A lot of people not go, that's why I had to go get Bun, had to get you, had to get Heezy, had to get Bobo, had to get uh, Steve Below. Like, I want to make sure you know over Bro, here. Below. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he been, he, he the first, the reason, he the reason I met Bo Bobo. Mm -hmm. I would have never been. Steve Belo came here before everybody because okay. Bun mentioned Belo name mm -hmm. on another podcast on with Bi, mm -hmm. okay. and when he mentioned it, I'm doing this and I'm just starting. And I said, "Man, I got to talk to Steve Belo because I'm a fan. Like I, I already talked to Heezy, so I call. I ain't mean to cut you off. Yeah, Bi ATL. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. He has been on my show. Okay, everybody, we all linked. So I call Heezy, and he's Leo, which that's my partner. I knew him and didn't know nobody else. And Heezy put me with Steve Belo, and then Steve Belo put me with Bobo and that's when Bobo came on and that's when he started doing all this too okay. so that's how that all happened you know what I mean yeah. but at the end of the day it was just important for me to make sure that this legacy and the way we looked at in the south and what we do on Boss Talk we represent to the fullest to where people can look and see a standard of this is what the South represent when it come down to the J Princes, the Masterpiece, the PMCs, the Bun B. You see what I'm saying? Nah, and I'm an older cat, so it's like it fits. And I'm a fan of the music. Now nah, the content that you oh they in trouble. It's, it's definitely part it, of the culture. It, oh, it's it, they in trouble. Need to know. They in trouble. You know, right? It's a place to where if you don't know too much and you're trying to find out, you definitely can come to the boss talking. What on what is going out. down? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I just love y'all, man, and I love the fact that you home, and I'm so glad. I know you ain't going back. I ain't got to worry about that. I just know that whatever you're going through, you got me here, and you can always pick that phone up. And I told, even when you came home, I text you. And as soon as you probably don't even remember that, and I text you early on. <laughs> I'm mad because you ain't caught, you ain't never get back with me, but you probably had a lot of things coming man, at you. When, when I first came, I did. Yeah, but I, I called He's and He's just started way. telling me. He's like, man, he he getting it together. He trying to figure things out. He's a counseling me really on the fact that why you ain't came to boss talk. I'm like, why this nigga ain't came to see nah, me? You want me to be a hundred? Look, I was. 
like when I when I first came home, I was like on some shit like man, I'm not even, I'm not popping out. I'm not like as far as like you know I'm not doing no features. I'm not doing no no appearances type shit. I'm not doing no interviews like. Even with like with Donnie Houston, like, shout out Donnie Houston. I talked to him a couple times. Uh, couple that, times. The interview, that we, the first interview we did. Yeah. Wasn't even, I wasn't even supposed to be in there. That was really how young he's interviewed. Yeah, like, yeah. You know how how it go. Like, yeah, pop they pull up you in. He, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just. I'm glad you did it. I enjoyed that interview. You know what I'm saying, let's get it done. Yeah, but, but you gotta get used to all of that. Yeah, it, and that was one of them moments too. I was like. This might as well be one of the people that I give one of the first interviews to. Because Donnie Houston, you know, he, he do a lot of work for the coaches. So yeah, he, yeah. He definitely Donnie Houston, that. definitely a, a dope. Uh, like I said, when I came in the game, a lot of people be like, man, won't you get with Donnie Houston? Won't you get with Beehive? But I'm not a, I wasn't a DJ. Right. I'm a fan. I'm not the same as those guys. You know what right. I'm saying? I come from, I'm from the South and I'm, I'm from the streets. And so that's, we that's different, bro. You know what I'm saying? We different. I know my name. Yeah, I'm not them, and they not me, but I respect them. Right. But I know my situation is not like a lot of people's situation. I, how do who thinks this is gonna blow up and people gonna be coming from miles and flying in? I I just know how to talk. I'm a country nigga. Yeah. That's all it is, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, am I right? Mm -hmm. I, I, it wasn't hard for me to do this because people call me my partner. Some of them in the NFL was in the NFL. They like man E. Some of them just regular niggas. Man E, you fit that. Uh, we been man. That's your man. That's who you are. I'm like. Nigga, I'm just talking, you know. <laughs> right. But they appreciate you for being you. Yeah, yeah, that and that was dope. But I definitely respect those guys, and that's why I went and got B high. That's why I picked up the phone and called Donnie Houston, and I called. Man, I've dealt with a lot of people, bro. When it come down to this stuff now, right? But early on, it wasn't like that, you know. Different people come on here, say your dad name, you know. Uh, we've always, you know, I even from Pimpin' Ken to any of them that was on pictures with him and that was on videos with him, I'm going to represent to the fullest that portion of who he was, and that's the way I look at it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And Bun, I was nervous of, of getting that interview, and that finally happened because I was I had met Bun a few times, but just to get him and, and just to talk to him about, you know, his legacy with UGK was important for me for Boss Talk, and he gave me everything and more, and he still, I can pick the phone up and call him, now he gonna answer. So that's just how I looked at it, just trying to connect the dots so when people look at you and they look at Pimp, they don't have to just see a bunch of stuff that's not real because the internet is blowing stuff up that they ain't even, it's AI, and they just saying whatever. Anybody could do a documentary on your dad right now, right. And, and people will think that's real. You know that, right? I see it all the time. I had some people come to me a minute ago trying to do that. Really? Yeah, yeah. But uh, when I pitched it, when I pitched it to Bun, he was like, "Man, I'm already working on some shit." Wow. So I'm like, inquisitive, of course. I'm like, man, well, who? No. So he's he, was, he didn't really say. I shot a name out there first. I'm like, well, who? Such and such. And he's like, nah. You just being so dry though, like. Man. But that, that, if you're doing it, say you're doing it like with whoever you're doing it I with. I think it, it's his character. You, try to, you try to give a nigga to run the ride, man. Come on, boy. <laughs> you think you think it's because I think it's age differences and gaps too. That has to do with it. Yeah. I'm more. I think when I look at Bun, like I'm I, I'm real out. Boom. You know, I'm out here. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a different type of dude. You know. He more reserved a little bit, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm more. Yeah. It, it's just how your character reserved is, bro. And political. That's right. Yeah. I'm more. I'm flamboyant. And he don't talk and as much. I'm right. crazy with it. I might say anything. You know what I'm saying? But then he has a lot more riding on the legacy that he built. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I respect it. And I think that's the whole game. Is just you got a situation where you can take whatever you want to do and be whoever you want to be with what God has given you through PMC. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And you ain't got, ain't nothing can stop that. You understand what I'm saying? You his son. So that's up to you however you want to roll that dice. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I can't wait to see it. Whatever you need from me, I'm here, brother. We sure cooking up. You know up. what I'm saying? We sure <laughs> cooking up, man. Man, we've been working. I got, uh, I don't have no date on this shit, but I got a project in the works called Can You Hear Me Now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, it's going to be probably. It's going like, to drop this year? I'm going to try. I'm trying. I'm trying, but I'll just. I ain't gonna not tell y'all. Y'all be too it. romantic with it. Y'all probably it. trying to wait to the right time. I don't like that, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna drop by five of them things before the year over, nigga. Nah, fast. <laughs> I need to, but I'm. But you gotta have the right. You gotta have the right punch. I'm in the studio that much though, really. I ain't gonna lie. You don't even why be in not? Why be lifing? Yeah. 
heavy on that. <laughs> like, like when I first came back, it was just so much that I was just. I'm not gonna say going through, but it was just a lot of stuff. That you I got kids or anything? Oh, hell no. Oh, you good? <laughs> yeah, so you How old are you? Good. 24. No oh, kids. yeah, you ready? Nah, you hell you no. good? Oh, man. life is real, real oh, good. Mom, t- we just. It's, it's patient. I'm just being patient. That's all. Well, like I said, don't don't wait to pull the trigger too long because you got a lot of fans and people out here waiting to hear Facts. from you. And you're not getting no younger. Facts. <laughs> yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.